All right, so though I'm dealing with a bit of a technical handicap, this is not going to keep me down. I'm currently working again on this Kindermaster, Kindmaster, whatever the hell app on my phone and hoping to make the best of it. In the meantime, the regressive handbook series that I've been working on will be put on hold. Otterface is still working on the episode 7, uh, which will be the It's a Free Speech Country commentary. So whenever she gets that done, that will be posted. So at least you'll have episode 7 to work with. I apologize for, obviously, the technical difficulties preventing me from doing 8, 9, and 10. At least for doing them now. What I bring you today, though, tonight, this morning, whatever it happens to be, wherever you are, is the case of one former Parti Québécois MP, failed MP, and a Muslim school in Montreal. This may normally seem like something that would, well, be a rather peaceful interaction, aside from the whole Islam thing. Normally, your average current year feminist is none too concerned with the transgressions of Islam. Fortunately for you and I, however, the issue that I'll be speaking about happened back in 2012. You see, Miss Ben Habib, whose first name I'm not even going to try and pronounce, made some comments likening a particular Muslim educational institute, private school in Montreal, to militant training camps, the likes of which are seen in Pakistan and Afghanistan. This, of course, has not gone over well, and the school is now suing her to the tune of $95,000. Now, I'm not usually one to stoke a controversy or stir the shit, unless that particular shit stirring might be funny. And in this case, I think we're going to get a hell of a laugh. Because on one hand, we have Feminist Canada run by Prime Minister Trudeau. Peace be upon his hair. Who essentially will allow no criticism to feminism, a uh, very proud feminist, self-proclaimed. But he's also the prime minister who campaigned on bringing in Syrian refugees, the vast majority of whom are Muslim. And current year feminism tends to have a pretty, pretty light touch when it comes to Islam. But not so much a light touch when anybody else tries to comment on Islam. So the trial starts September 26th. Lawyers have been out there. The problem is that Miss Ben Habib cannot afford her own legal defense, or so she is claiming. She is crowdfunding. Yes, a feminist taking donations, I know. And I can't really say much because I'm hopefully trying to scratch up some, well, scratch, in order to get my computer back on track. But in any case, we have a feminist going to crowdsourcing to fund their legal case. This is one of the few times you will hear me say this until there is a reformation in feminism, but I support the feminist here. It is not because of my opposition to Islam, but rather for my support of free speech. She is claiming that the remarks she made that were based on the Educational Institute's website should be covered under freedom of expression. It's in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Similar but not the exact same to the United States' First Amendment guaranteeing free speech. We, of course, have more restrictions on ours. Personally, I believe she's correct. I think that if you're going to take something that a educational institute or any corporation has, any business, anybody has put out publicly, and you're going to critique that, they need to stand up, back that, and say, okay, either, yep, you're right, fine, or defend it on its merits, not on, oh, well, this is a Canadian Charter slander issue. In any case, I hope to follow the rest of this uh, these court proceedings as they go along. If you'd like to tune in, I'll be putting all of these related videos for this trial into a playlist, and you'll be able to read them. Read them. You'll be able to follow along with me there. Hope to see you all along for the ride. Give it an up or down vote, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.